Colucci, and I am one of the life coaches at Queen Being. If you are struggling with a narcissist in your life, or if you are struggling with the after effects of having a narcissist in your life, head over to queenbeing.com where we have a lot of information, tips and tools and resources to help you recover and heal. And if you need any help like coaching, check out the information in the description of every video down below. And if you need information for group coaching, there's information in that place as well, down in the description of every video. So let's get started today with a short video to help you relieve some stress in your life. When things feel really overwhelming and you have CPTSD, the overwhelm can feel like the end of the, it can make you feel like you cannot take the stress of one more thing. You know what I mean? So if this is something you need help with, go ahead and hit subscribe and let's start talking about a quick fix for the stress. So, okay. If you are totally overwhelmed and one more thing happens, do you feel like you're going to burst? Does it feel like a cascading overflow of pressure and stress seeping out of every pore? And your mind just cannot stop spinning about everything that's going wrong in your life. I feel like the problems are all connected and mounting and like you start going into a spiral sort of thinking that takes you down a rabbit hole of despair and like everything's going wrong at once. Can you relate to that feeling? So while this is not going to fix everything and it's not easy, it is time to step back and choose to solve one thing or resolve or concentrate your efforts toward one thing. Relax the other thoughts. I know it feels impossible because no one can take on everything all at once. You got to tell yourself that I can't take everything on all at once. You know what I'm saying? So one thing to help is try to relax your thoughts. I know it feels impossible. I, I know. But remember that no one can take everything on all at once. And you have to tell yourself that you can't take everything on all at once. Tell yourself, I'm going to choose just one piece. Once you've done that, take a deep breath. I want to pause here for a second so you can relax a second. Take a deep breath with me and try to follow along if you can, if you wish. Okay. So now taking a deep breath. It is time to just step back even a little further and breathe for a few minutes. So there are many breathing practices and breathing exercises you could try, but here we're going to stick with a really simple one that's easy to follow and easy to remember. Just try telling yourself for a second, I'm going to take a break for just a few minutes from the stress that I'm feeling. If you're crying or feeling rage or total overwhelm, just tell yourself I'm going to allow myself this little break. Okay, so imagine that you've been running and running and running and you just need to take a break to catch your breath. That's kind of what you're going through right now emotionally. So go ahead and get yourself comfortable. Sit down, stand up, lay down, whatever feels comfortable to you. And just for a few minutes, try to breathe. Breathe in deeply to the count of four. One, two, three, four. And then at the top, hold your breath for the same count. Four, and then exhale. One, two, three, four. Try to do this a couple times, just rhythmically getting used to the way it feels to breathe in, to just hold it for a second and exhale. Once you have your mind around just doing that, even if it's, you know, darting all over the place, it's okay. Just try to focus for a second on the counting. So take a brief, deep breath and count. And as you do so, scan your body and ask it to relax. I'm not saying you are actually going to relax. Maybe you can, but it's okay, just ask your body to relax. So as you breathe in, two, three, four, and when you get to the top, ask your body as you hold that breath to relax. And then as you exhale, imagine the relaxation happens. So now it's time to stop fighting all the consuming overwhelm and the feelings of anxiety. Just for a few minutes, just let them be there. Anxiety is a normal feeling to have once in a while for everybody. Fighting it will create more of it. So take another breath, one, two, three, four, and at the top, tell yourself, I will not fight the anxiety right now. And exhale, letting the anxiety go, even if it's only for a few seconds. Remember that you were taking on only one thing right now, not all of it. What you're doing here is reversing the pattern of overwhelming thinking. You're giving yourself a new tool to cope with the overwhelm. With your last few relaxing breaths, try to bring yourself into the current moment. So find something in the room 
to anchor on or just feel your body sitting in the chair or standing there or feel your feet on the ground or look around and see what's around you. Notice things like the colors or the way the light looks or if there's a candle or something nearby you could get a scent of. Whatever helps you be present to the current and present moment. And for that moment, try to reframe the situation and be open to visualizing things being resolved. Picture the situation releasing. So take a final relaxing breath. One, two, three, four. As you're holding your breath, picture the situation in your life resolving. As you exhale, try to anchor on to the present moment by noticing things around you in the room. Give yourself a few minutes before you try to reapproach the problem. So while you're doing that, just let yourself breathe naturally. Try and stay present to what's going on around you in the room and just be open to yourself for a few minutes. Try, once you do reapproach the problem, to be open to suggestions, even if you've tried them before. Remember, not every problem has a solution, but it's not doing you any good to spin your wheels and have this overwhelm take over. I hope this helps and I'll talk with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.